Hi again. Last lecture for the nervous system. Yay. So we'll do the facial nerve and some of the major branches and then we'll um, look at some exercises on how to practice. So uh, first slide is an overview of the facial nerve and the major branches. Um, so it's a mixed nerve and there are somatic motor fibers to muscles of facial expression. We've already done that. So that should be pretty familiar. We'll look at the pathway. We'll review that again. And there are efferent, also motor, but parasympathetic motor to the sublingual and submandibular salivary glands. We've done that. We will talk about the corda tympani and the lingual nerve in just a little bit. And we also have parasympathetic fibers to the lacrimal gland which we've um, been introduced to and we'll talk about a uh, review again the zygomatic and the lacrimal nerve so that should be review and we've also i think introduced the sensory for the anterior two-thirds of the tongue and those fibers are going to run with the lingual nerve and the corda tympani again so that's sort of the big picture overview of where we're going so Here is a handy way of remembering the branches of the facial nerve that innervate the muscles of facial expression. You know that the nerve exits through the stylomastoid foramen, this motor branch, which is out up in that region. And then the nerve branches. It gives off a posterior auricular nerve, which we're not really going to worry about much. And then these other branches that go off and innervate the muscles of facial expression. And it's the, their na the names uh, pretty much tell you the region that they're in. And the little picture on the left sort of shows a handy way of remembering the branches. So if you take the back of your hand and put it against your face as shown in the picture with the thumb down on the neck and the pinky fifth finger up on the temporal region the first finger is laying pretty much on the mandible middle finger on the cheek etc and fourth finger up on the zygomatic region so those are the different branches of the facial nerve Okay, and a little note at the bottom, make sure you read the little uh, questions in the blue boxes that I put on there. So this is motor. So think in terms of signals, action potentials originating in the brain and then going outward to the targets, in this case, the muscles of facial expression. So we know that the nerve exits the skull at the stylomastoid frame, and where does it enter? The bony portion of the skull that's the question next slide uh, more of same just showing uh, the different branches there's variation of course among individuals but this is the basic pattern the temporal branch zygomatic etc and you should be able to interpret these figures you know, if you see something like this and there's text along with it, spend just a little bit of time to make sense out of it. This being the ramus. I'm trying to get the yellow pen. It shows up a little better. There's the ramus. Um, assuming that this is a hole in the middle of the ramus, could you identify that? Hole, that passage and soon or at this point could you identify the nerve that's inside of that hole in the ramus starting to put this together that would be the inferior alveolar nerve okay all right let's move on 
So, uh, let me clean up my doodling from earlier. This, again, we're still talking about the facial nerve, and this is showing the parasympathetic pathway to the lacrimal gland. So we've already done this. Here is the greater petrosal nerve running through the pterygoid canal, which I told you you didn't have to identify. And it's in blue, and you may want to enlarge this on your computer so that you can sort of see this area a little bit better. But you know the general picture of what's going on, the general story. This is a pterygopalatine ganglia within the fossa, and within that ganglion you know that there's a synapse. And this is the pterygopalatine ganglion. So maybe we could abbreviate that as the PP gang. And you know what this nerve is. You practiced this early on with your parasympathetic pathways. This is our greater petrosal nerve, which I'll abbreviate. And then this is going off to, the postganglionic is going off to ultimately get to the lacrimal gland. That's what's shown in the uh, darker part of the figure. If you can enlarge that, you would see the, the synapse and the ganglion. So they're pointing out the postganglionic fibers are ultimately running up to the lacrimal gland. They're going to hitch a ride with a couple of other nerves to get there. We'll look at that in another slide. It's also showing that there are branches going out to the nasal mucosa. So the main branch that we've talked about is going to the lacrimal gland. Well, it's also supplying other glands. There are uh, glands in the nasal mucosa make your nose run that sort of thing, and there are minor salivary glands scattered around on the palate. Hard palate, soft palate. So, we looked at the three major salivary glands, the parotid, the sublingual, and the submandibular, but there are lots of smaller salivary glands scattered around, also innervated. Um, some of those are innervated by the facial postganglionics. So, let's move on. A rather busy slide, um, but spend just a moment with it, and you may need to enlarge the text so you can see the labels. There's a lot in this slide that we have not talked about, but you should be able to recognize those pieces that we have talked about. So, you know, for example, there's a ganglion and a nerve. You should be able to uh, recognize that. And I also put some other hints and things for you to try to locate. See if you can locate the following, just for general orientation. Okay. This is a great slide, and I believe it's our last slide for the facial. And then after we run through this, what you need to do is uh, practice, and I will give you opportunities to practice this. So facial nerve overview. Also shown is the trigeminal in gray. So you should be able to recognize uh, most of what's on this slide. You know, here are your three branches of the trigeminal. You should make sense out of that. And you know the openings, for example, on how they pass through the skull. And so remember what we're dealing with, with for the facial nerve. We're going to the muscles of facial expression, and then we also are carrying sensory and 
autonomic motor. So, um, let's just run through the parasympathetic motor back to the lacrimal gland again. So, the parasympathetic motor is shown in blue, sensory is shown in green. So, blue equals parasymp and green is for sensory, single neurons. Blue is going to have two neurons. So, uh, just to review again, here is the pterygoid canal and the greater petrosal nerve running through it, and there's the pterygopalatine ganglion. And then the postganglionics that are headed to the lacrimal gland are going to jump on to part of V2. And do you remember the branches of V2? That would be a great review question, a great flashcard. It then jumps on to a branch of the ophthalmic. Do you remember the three branches of the ophthalmic? Frontal, nasociliary, and the lacrimal nerve. So these postganglionics then get to the lacrimal gland by riding with the lacrimal nerve of V1. And remember that this is all sensory, those three branches. Okay. Um, what else do we have in here? Let's look at the tongue. So it's outlined in gray. So this is the outline of the tongue. Which I'm drawing a dashed line around in black. And the anterior two-thirds of this So this is the anterior two-thirds, and then we have the posterior one-third of the tongue. So for taste, the facial nerve, green fibers, are coming from the taste buds for the anterior two-thirds of the tongue, and they travel along the tongue. They it looks like they run through the submandibular ganglion there. Notice that there is no synapse in the ganglion. And those fibers, those green sensory fibers, continue on. They're running up this way. And then they jump onto the chorda tympani. So this is a little cord, the cord of tympani, that's going to run over the eardrum. This major branch is the lingual nerve. Here. And if you are following this all the way down, so let me draw a little circle around this for the lingual nerve. This is also the lingual nerve. Oops, not to there, over to here. Okay, so that's the lingual nerve. Fibers branch off of that and form the chorda tympani, which is part of seven. It runs back to the brain. What else is, so what kind of fibers are in the chorda tympani? And this is, again, the um, 
According to timpani, what kind of fibers are in this? Well, there's sensory for taste from the tongue. So taste. What else is in the chord of timpani? Well, the parasympathetic to the salivary glands. So these are preganglionic. And pre gang fibers. I'm running out of room to write anymore. But they're going to the sublingual and the submandibular salivary glands. So, um, that should about do it. Spend some time looking at the figure and sort of familiarizing yourself with what we've done. Um, we have not talked about the geniculate ganglion, which is where the cell bodies are for those sensory fibers um, from the tongue. That's okay. If we haven't talked about it, you can pretty much ignore it. I'm not going to be asking you about it. Um, but pretty much uh, looks like everything else on this slide we've pretty much gone over. So, um, next order of business is to start practicing this and I need to give you some homework problems which I will do soon. So here's one way of practicing some of these problems. Um, take a scenario and maybe for example uh, number example number one describe the sensory pathway for a burned tongue after eating hot pizza. So you celebrated after the exam, ordered pizza, got in a hurry, and burned your tongue. So trace the sensory pathway. So the first thing you need to do is figure out, okay, what nerve is carrying pain from the tip of the tongue? Is it the facial nerve? No, the facial nerve is just doing taste. So what nerve carries uh, fibers for general sensation. General sensation would be touch, pressure, pain, etc. Well, that would be the lingual nerve. So you want to start with burnt tissue on the tongue and then go to the lingual nerve and that then merges with the mandibular branch, passes through the foramen ovale. We're still after we go through the foramen ovale, we're still in the mandibular branch until we get to the ganglion. And then we're, after those branches merge at the ganglion, we have the trigeminal nerve. So there's five. And then that then goes back to the brain. So you can string these branches together. And then another example, we're kind of beating a dead horse, I think. We've seen this enough times parasympathetic pathway to the lacrimal gland. So you can work that out. And then here are some additional problems to practice. I would probably start with what I have here. I think these are the easiest. So for example, um, general sensation for the tongue. First one, pretty much what we just did. And uh, number F, for example, motor to the parotid salivary gland. So there you are describing the motor pathway, parasympathetic. So that's all for the lecture. I will put together some homework problems for you to do to practice this and submit for grading. That will come probably um, or in a day or so. So if you have questions, please get a hold of me and we'll talk again soon. Bye.